Hey you guys, I just wanted to hop on here. I did a pre-recorded video because I'm not gonna be able to hop on early in the morning. And it's been a while since I've shown you guys my nighttime routine. So I am wearing these waterproof lashes. I know that if I just go scrub my face, these lashes are not coming off. So we're gonna start with a makeoff remover. I'm gonna spray them on these eyes. This makeup make off remover can take all of your makeup off. Um, I've, I've used it before on our enduring eyeliners um, and the enduring lip colors to get them off, but you just want to, I'm gonna go in and get this off. Comes off super easily with our, I like to prefer to do it with a Q-tip, a uh, cotton ball. Excuse me. So this stuff does not come off when you sweat, when you cry. It's staying there for the long haul with you. It feels, um, it's good. It's not drying like other waterproof mascaras I've used before. It's just, um, it, it's amazing. Sorry, you guys, I'm trying to concentrate on getting it off. You do have to use an eye makeup remover. Um, I would strongly suggest our Make Off Remover Spray. Anyhow, let's get to it. So I am going to use the Power Start tonight, you guys. This is our men's face wash. Absolutely love it. One tip, I always open it upside down because otherwise it's gonna spill everywhere. So I get my face wet. And then put a, just a small amount, if you will. This stuff smells so good. And I really go in and scrub right here because that's where I break out a lot with hormonal acne. This helps keep that underway. So don't be afraid. You've got to get to your skin. You've got to exfoliate to reveal that fresh skin, you guys. It's so important. This um, exfoliation is perfect for me. I use this a couple of times a week, about three times a week. I love the skin polish, but it's not, it's not as much exfoliation for me. I need more exfoliation, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, now that you have the makeup off, exfoliated, dry off with a clean, washcloth. Um, you can go in and next I use the Sotox. One pump of the Sotox. One drop of the One Drop Wonder. Spread it on your face. What I usually like to do you guys is if I put my Sotox on, I'll go and let it sink in for a little bit, a good five, 10 minutes. And then I will come back and do my um, moisturizer. But I am going to, for the sake of this, I am going to show you guys, I have uh, switched to the Cool Balm to help with redness. This um, is a lot lighter of a moisturizer. It's got aloe and candy oil. It, it feels great. Um, and it's it's soothing, even you can put this in the fridge. It's got aloe in it. If you've got burn, it'd be great for that. But that is it. So I still have some acne. So got that one that's never going away. I'm gonna have to dab a little bit of Mask of Zen here. And what I'll do is I'll dab mascas in along my chin line where I break out. Don't be afraid to 
dab it on because this is what I do. I will sleep with this. This stuff will dry and um, it'll be just fine. It'll, it won't flake off on my pillow. Obviously don't go lay your head down right now like this, let it dry first. But any breakouts that you have, just dab it on there. If you've had a, if you have a really oily area, you can, a lot of people are, are oily right here in the T-zone, dab some there. This stuff works wonders. This is a mask of Zen. It's clay and tea tree oil face mask. Um, I like to leave it as an overnight treatment. You can leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes, just like a normal mask, but either how it works great for your face for oily and acne prone skin. But you guys, if you have any questions, um, Feel free to comment, replay, give me your comments, whatever you have. I am so scatterbrained tonight. I have messages coming in left and right. You guys, it's been a busy Monday and we have our mascara that launched today. Um, by the time you're seeing this, it will have launched yesterday. It's great stuff. Get the mascara, waterproof mascara with a make, -up, make off remover. But anyhow, you guys, I love y'all. Have a wonderful day. Bye.